What's good, everybody? I have formulated the ultimate summer routine. A routine that you don't have to dream about because this one is actually fast, affordable, easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy, and everything you need in order to make your curls last. So if things are gonna be heating up for you and you wanna be looking hot this summer, then keep watching this video and let's get to it. We recall my winter routine and then my springtime routine. In these past two videos where I'm talking about the seasons and the weather, I explain the importance of taking a look at the back of the bottle and investigating the ingredients that you're putting into your hair. Not because it's this approved and that approved and this is bad for you and this is gonna kill you. No. We look at the back of the ingredients because certain ingredients react differently in our hair depending on the weather. This is a very important thing to consider when styling your hair. But it is absolutely not the only thing to consider. And you'll see what I mean when I get to that. But one thing you have been asking me is for an affordable hair care routine. Because let's be real, curly hair products ain't cheap, especially the really good ones. So I made my way over to my local Walmart. If we took a look at my receipt here, okay, everybody, this is my Walmart receipt. I spent all of $20, this is Canadian dollars, eh, on three curly hair products. And these are the ones that I got. One, a mask slash deep conditioner. Two, you need a curl cream slash styler. And three, a gel. Don't forget the gel, okay? Now these products, if they don't seem familiar to you, are from Dippity Doo. Dippity Doo has been around for a very long time. Now back in the day when I was using Dippity Doo gel, it was not for the curls. But now, they have a curly hair care line. So I decided to pick it up, give it a try. So right now in my hair, I already have the treatment mask in, which I've left in for a lot longer than the three to five minutes that it says. But I'm going to rinse this out now. Okay, perfect. So. Now I'm rinsed out, it feels very soft, very silky. It's very important to make sure that you are using deep treatments because what's happening in the summer, especially if you are spending a lot of time in the sun, is it is getting even more dried out. Our hair is naturally dry and it's drying out. As our skin dries out, so does our hair. So we need to be replenishing that moisture when we are washing our hair. Next thing, in my very wet hair, I'm gonna be working through their curl defining cream. Now, I'm looking at the back of the bottle. The first ingredient is water. That's good. Water moisturizes our hair. Now the second ingredient is glycerin. Glycerin, as I've discussed previously, is a humectant that can also moisturize the hair. How? What does glycerin do? Long story short, as we can see, when the temperatures are above 16 degrees or 60 degrees, when it is getting hot and when it is getting humid or dry, you've got to be careful with humectants. So this is very high in humectants. When you use high humectants, a lot of humectants like glycerin, in these high temperatures, you want to be careful because if there is a lot of moisture in the air, like you're in really humid climates, well then the humectants may cause too much moisture retention into your hair, which can make your hair seem really poofy and frizzy. And if it's bringing too much moisture in your hair, it can actually do harm, as in your cuticle will start to swell because there's too much moisture. But the benefit of using this is I'm also gonna be using their curl jelly, which when I check the ingredients there, there is no glycerin. So this is gonna cut the glycerin that's in that product so I'm not really too stressed out. Now I'm really gonna work on defining. So I will be taking sections of my hair and just because you're taking sections to apply your hair does not mean it's got to be a long, lengthy process, okay? So I'm taking half of my head. I will make sure that I have lots of water. And I will also make sure that I have enough product. And now I'm going to make sure my hair is thoroughly defined. The fastest way to define the hair, I find, is by brushing through the product. Which I love to do with the Denman brush. So, make sure that your hair is detangled. And this is how you get through your hair really fast. I'll take like one inch thick vertical long sections and start at the root 
and comb outwards. Another important note is that even though this product is very high in glycerin, which is a humectant, it is also very rich in emollients. Now, also as previously discussed, the benefit of emollients is that they can actually help to seal in moisture in the hair. So now that I'm working through the curl cream slash styler, I am really saturating these through my hair when I'm using the Demon brush. Now I could either use a Demon brush or I can finger coil. That is a personal preference, but what is absolutely key is that you are working through your product really well and defining your curls now so they have the fortitude. Defined curls will be able to last longer. Also take note of how I'm brushing. I'm always brushing off of my head with a little bit of a curve to help curl the curl at the end. So boom, nice and defined. This took all of three minutes to brush through, which is very fast and very effective and very realistic in the summer when we don't want to be spending a whole lot of time on your hair. Especially since in the summer, you're probably washing your hair a lot more often as well. This leads me to my next point that I will explain as I put through the gel. Let's open up the gel, shall we? One moment, please. Oh, it's pink. Oh my God, it's gonna make my hair pink. It's very thick jelly, that's for sure. Very good. I'm going to crab hands this through my hair, gently covering the outside grounds to protect and seal in the moisture and give the hold. So as I was saying, in the summer, you're probably washing your hair more. You don't have to feel guilty about this as long as you're doing it correctly. You should be washing your hair more if one, you are sweating more, and two, if you are spending time underwater. Whether that be a pool, the ocean, or a lake, if you're spending a lot of time in the water, you wanna make sure that your hair is nice and cleansed. You don't want to be leaving salt water in your hair. And chlorine, if you're spending a lot of time in pools, dear God, you need to be washing that out. Because chlorine is a bleach. And if you're wondering why suddenly your color goes brassy in the summer, why all these things are happening, yeah, it's not just the sun, it's the pools that you're swimming in. Shampoo. There are specific shampoos that help to remove mineral buildup. But if you are not, and you're just someone that, you know, perspires a lot throughout the summer, I encourage you to alternate your washes with co-washing, which will conditioningly wash your hair. That will keep the moisture, but also get rid of the dirt, the sweat, the dust. So that's just my spiel on uh, washing your hair. Now, hmm, now that I'm styled, do you air dry in the summer or do you diffuse? Now I went on vacation and I tested this theory because here in Canada I may not have, you know, <clears throat> the experiences that many of you may have, but I tested air drying my hair because I thought when I'm on vacation, it's a lot hotter outside, I could go out, my hair would dry faster, and I'd be good. But you know what I was left with? Frizz. Undefined curls, wet flat roots, and then puffy ends. Not your ideal style. How can you combat this? Well, my answer to that is actually by not air drying. Yeah, I know sometimes it seems so easy. You want to just get up and go, but if you really want your hair to be defined, you can't be air drying in humid climates. This may seem absolutely crazy in the summer because you could be thinking exactly what I was thinking. You know, it's hot outside. You go outside, it's going to be faster and easier to dry out there. But no, if you're in a hot and humid climate and you step outside to dry, what do you think is going to happen? You're in moist conditions and you think your hair is going to dry well? It will not dry faster. It will be easier because you get to skip diffusing. But there's so much moisture in the air, which is going to bring a lot of moisture into your hair. And too much moisture, again, is going to cause that cuticle to swell, which is going to give you puffy hair and can actually lead to damage from the raised cuticle. So. You need to seal that cuticle. You want to finish off your hair with the diffuser before you step outside. Okay. 
Let's take a look at the situation. Okay. Even after diffusing, which tends to soften up the cast and the hold from the gel, there's still a little bit of a light hold cast, which is definitely something you want and need in the summer. And typically, if it's very hot outside and I want my hair to last, I'm not going to scrunch out the crunch. Whatever hold is in here, I'm going to leave to give the hair a little extra fortitude within the elements. And the last thing that you need to do for your hair before you go back out into the sun is to protect it like you do your skin. We don't go out into the sun without sunscreen now, do we? No. And our hair needs sunscreen too. So a product I've been using is actually from Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Curl Luminous Oil Spray, which has UV filters. So I do like to either just spritz it over my hair or if I do want to be scrunching out the cast, which you still can do, I will just spray it on my hands, about two sprays, and I will glide this over top of my hair, which is moisturizing. So this you can continue to do throughout the week and to refresh your curls in the morning to give a little extra life to them. Nonetheless though, this has been a pretty easy wash day. And it's, uh, and it's pretty good results too. So for first impressions, what do I say about this very affordable wash day? definitely doable and good for the summer, good for a vacation, good for times when you know, you know you're going to be needing a lot of product and you don't really have the funds to be spending all the money that you own on hair product. My results were really defined when they were wet and here we are really defined when it's dry. So thumbs up to this affordable hair care routine. I'll put the links to these products below and to close off this video, I'm going to, of course, shout out our comment of the week. Shastity, I also wish that you lived in Canada. And question of the week is coming from Crystal. She wants to know if she can sleep with the Olaplex treatment overnight for deep conditioning. You absolutely can. What's great about Olaplex is you can't really overdose on it. But keep in mind, it's not going to be moisturizing your hair. It's just rebuilding the bonds. I hope that answers your question. Any other questions you guys have, make sure you comment them below and you may just be featured at the end of next week's video. What is next week's video going to be? Well, you'll just have to watch and see. Make sure you are subscribed for more content like this because we put out new videos every week. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay cool this summer and we'll see you guys next week. Peace! Sun is out and I'm feeling okay. It is a texture Tuesday. It is summertime. At last, it's summertime. The sun is shining. It's summertime. We can see the light. The trees are chirping.